Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Real Talk Mic Drop. And can you please do the favors? Set the job. Yes, <laughs> baby! And your host, I or Desire, baby! And my special guest, the amazing. Awesome. <laughs> Me, baby. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Oh, that gets tiring sometimes. I'm just like, all right, all right. Leo Aguilar. Dun, 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 dun. Hello. Well, one question that I want to know is, when are you gonna drop your song? Bro? Ooh, this song? Fuck, man. I don't know, really. It needs a little bit of tweaking. But I mean, I have the link if you want it. I can just give it to you. You sent it to you me. Want. Oh yeah, that's right. You sent it to me, dude. I was like, yeah, you can do whatever you want with it. I mean, you can send me the link too, because I need like download it too. Yeah. I sent it through like Messenger, so. I... Yeah, it came out weird. It came out like an actual voice message for some reason. Yeah, so I mean, I can put it in the background. Yeah. Not for the whole hour though. That's. Uh, it's a nice song. It is a good song. But like when we're like talking, like relaxing, we can't be like, dumb fucking vi fucking villain island. <laughs> you know, I can't yeah, be like. Yeah, that's true. What if we're just talking about like feelings and shit? We're like, oh, yeah, well, yeah. fucking Billy Island is going on. <laughs> <laughs> and you know she was like 18 when you dropped that, right? Um, I knew she was like just turned 18, and I was like, I don't know if I should do this or not. Because <laughs> well, I mean she's. She's 18 now. Yeah. That's like two, three years away. Yeah. Ain't no problem. I mean, like... She's mm -hmm. mature for her age, how about that? Okay, that doesn't sound right <laughs> either, bro. Uh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I remember, um... You remember Dora, the Explorer, the yeah. movie? Hey, man. Oh, true. Hey, bro, I was I crushing on her, her, bro. I didn't but go... But she's older, no? Yeah, now. Oh, okay. Now. She like turned 18 like last year. But when I don't give a fuck if she was like 15 or 16, dog. I was I was like, damn, this bitch fine as hell. When when the trailer came out, I'm like, man, this bitch fine as hell. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Dora the Explorer. Yeah. She can explore my kid. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she can explore anything in my house. Oh my gosh. I remember I was like, damn. I watched that movie with my brother. It was like a theater, it was like 10 o'clock, Doc. We were just like vaping in the back. <laughs> and I'm like, this bitch got some. We got a like, wagon, bro. Damn, the wagon. <laughs> I forgot about the plot, bro. I was like, hey. I completely forgot that movie even came out, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's uh, it's not that good, bro. Uh -huh. It's not. I like feel it. like you didn't even watch it. You were just like, whoa, ass. Yeah, bro. I was like, hey, hey, Doc. <laughs> Next subject. Next subject. All right, all right, all right. Um, I don't want people thinking I'm a predator or anything. One of the questions is why I was so cool. I don't know why people call me cool. I'm not even that cool. This guy's the cool guy. Oh, come on. This guy's definitely... Look at the tats, bro. Cool. Hello, welcome to um, Hot Topic. I am here. We are... Um, the skateboards are in the back. <laughs> oh, wait, no. That's, that is Hot Topic, no? Hot topic. No, no, that's, no, that's yeah, that's Zoomies, my bad. You want to put on that beanie right there? <laughs> Black? <laughs> yeah. I just get you had to put it on, bro. You're not. Oh, okay, you, let's go. <laughs> Catch me on the pole. Uh, I think I might have to go there Valentine's Day because I am single, bro. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't hurt to just go out there and throw a couple of singles around your game. It does for my pocket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got a job now, yeah. so I can. You can support yourself a little bit more with the with the ladies. Yeah, bro. Well, I remember my first time. It was like four days ago, maybe. Oh, nice. Yeah, was like maybe ten minutes ago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to bust a nut like before you came. I was just like, all right, forward. Me and you both, buddy. And that's when I get relaxed and just like I don't want to be like in like screaming at the camera like oh oh. Next question, Leo. That's when you're at, uh, like, right before you go to the gym, right? Yeah. Uh, like, going to the gym, baby. I 
I like that. I like those videos. Those uh, videos make me laugh. I'm making a comeback. I'm going to keep on doing the gym vlogs again. Yeah. Because I feel like people need to know that you're like again. fucking gym, baby. Yeah, I mean, it's because wrestling, training, and podcasts, and yeah. I think it's tiring. Yeah. Understandable. You should take some, like, in the gym. What? Like some videos in the gym. When you're in there, just going hey, Oh, no, I don't need them. I don't need them. <laughs> or, maybe, or maybe some funny videos in the gym, just being like, hey, let me just do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't talk to anybody in the gym, bro. I'm just like, minding my own fucking business. I'm just like, <clears throat> ooh. Lifting the weights? Lifting the heavy weights? Yeah, bro. That's what I So how you been, Leo? Not bad. Oh, I wanted to say um, thank you. You came to my dad's funeral, and I appreciated that a lot, actually. Because it was kind of like, to me it was just kind of out of nowhere, but, you know, it meant a lot to me. Yeah, dude, like, I didn't really talk to you, like, but I was like, you gotta go. Because, like, I'm, I would like people to come to my funny funeral of mine. So I was just like, fuck, I'm gonna go. And I was like the first one there. I didn't, yeah. I didn't know what to do. I was like, oh. oh. You know, just chilling there. Literally out of everyone, that my dude here was the first one here. It was awesome. Yeah. And then I saw Kiko and everybody. Yeah, and everyone else started showing up. Yeah. I appreciated that though. It was pretty nice. Do you have any words about that? Um, like, I mean, everyone goes through it eventually, and it's hard, and if you ever need anybody, just reach out for anybody, honestly. Anyone's, no one's going to be like, nah, I don't want to talk to you because of that. You know, anyone can be helpful at that point. Um, even recently, one of my other boys lost his dad to, uh, to cancer, and he reached out to me, and he was all like, bro, I don't know what to do. He was drunk as fuck at like 3 in the morning. I just talked him through it and shit, you know. Anyone needs, anyone can go, can Use the There's not a lot of like words you can say, but like as long as you're there, I feel like that's that's good too. Yeah, like as long as someone's there to like listen to you or even just being there, you feel me? Like like you just being there at the funeral, like we I don't even think we said anything the first time. I just shook your hand and I felt awesome. Like I felt like someone was there for me. Yeah. I felt awesome. Yeah, I was like damn. I couldn't say nothing, I was just like damn. Yeah. There's, there's not really much to say about it too. Just a thing that happens in life. Yeah. But um, how are people like reaching out to you now? I mean, <clears throat> you know, after the funeral, obviously, some people don't talk to you, you know, because it's only the people that are not really there for the moment, but you know, they empathize for you for the moment, and then. Afterwards, you know, there's still people there that I'll, that I'll talk to and everything. Like, even now, it's just it's me and my mom just at home. I still have all my friends that hit me up and talk to me and everything. I got Evan, um, Enrique, sometimes that's my favorite. That's not his name, but Dutch, Oh, yeah, bro. sorry, sorry, Dutch, my bad. You can blurt that out. <laughs> I, I already meant, did that, bro. I meant Dutch. <laughs> Obviously, Dutch is a good friend. Um, yeah, all my boys, you know. I know. Hector too. Hector, yeah, Hector. Hernandez. Yeah, that's my boy. The bro. god. Yeah, the god. <laughs> we we went to uh, we had wits together for like three years in high school. Yeah. It was awesome. But uh, uh, during the whole thing, like afterwards, we got kicked out of my house. So we were trying to find a new apartment, and uh, he actually came over and offered me and my mom like to stay at his place for a little while. It was nice and all, but like we found an apartment. That's good. Yeah, but yeah, Hector's my boy. Yeah, bro. Like, <clears throat> I I heard that he told me a story about like meeting Kiko for the first time when he was with you. Yeah. And that was the first time I met Kiko. Yeah. What you, what, was, what was his story? Um, that <laughs> he was uh with hanging out with you, and then Kiko came, and then he's like, bro, the room started shaking <laughs> from the aura <laughs> we had, the three gods together, man. Yeah. All together in the same room, everything was like wild. Yeah, bro. I wish I could have been there. Like, it would have just exploded, bro. Yeah, if you were there, we would have just been a big vibe. <laughs> just a fat vibe. 
Yeah, bro, Hector, that is a top quality guy right there, man. Definitely 10 out of 10. Hit him up, ladies. You feel me? Yeah, he's um, loyal. Oh, yeah, totally loyal. Um, also a porn star. One Inch Punisher XC on Pornhub. If you haven't subscribed, you're a fucking bitch. You are a bitch because I subscribed immediately. <laughs> yeah, bro, like, I already had an account on Pornhub. Jariah Toad Sage, but I don't use it. Jariah Toad Sage, that's yeah. your account? Damn, yeah. I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> I just posted my fucking music videos, but. <coughs> I retired. Retired porn star. Yeah, maybe I'll come back. Maybe I'll come back? Maybe. Nice. Come back on the chin, you feel me? Yeah, bro. Um, yeah, I check his porn page oh, yeah. every day just to see if he gets 1,000 views to get $45. Oh yeah? yeah, that's how much it is, really? Mm -hmm. Damn. You gotta make a one count. Yeah, you got like <laughs> 600 some views, and I'm really rooting for him. Yeah. With this hand. With actually, I'm ambidextrous <laughs> on both hands. Dude, I can't check out like that. Right? It's just like weird. It's like. Does it feel uncomfortable? Yeah. Yeah. I could do it with both for some reason. A little weird. <laughs> yeah, I, he made another video. I was in the camera, man, sadly. Damn. Like, a little part of me died. Yeah. And I was like, uh, I would have been upset. Yeah, it was an hour, <laughs> an hour video. That's what I heard, bro. What, where's this video at? He said 200 haha -ha reacts. Bro, <laughs> first of all, he said 100 in the first time, then 200. I feel like if he gets 200, 300 likes now. Yeah, as soon as he gets to 200, he's going to be like, nope, 300 ha ha's. And then we're never going to see the video. I went over yesterday to actors. I couldn't see the video. <laughs> nah, he didn't let no. you see it? No. Wow. No. You guys did that whole, um, that live thing, no? Oh, yeah. Live and everything. We talked about our sex stories. I do not have any, so <laughs> we had to say all of them. Yeah. Understanding. Does, um, touching a girl like that count as sex? Because that's all I had. Um, I haven't even touched it, actually. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I found my virginity the other day, bro. It's okay. It was underneath my bed. I just dusted it off. Perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah, man. I haven't had my first kiss, bro. No? I just can't ride. I was about to say, you're lying. <laughs> I feel like I'm pretty good looking, I guess. But, like, eh, my personality, I guess, kills it, bro. I don't think so. I mean, I've been told that, bro. Really? Yeah. Like, ooh, it's, it's one chick, we're not good. Yeah, let's not get into it. She said you were cute, but then your personality just went to kill me all. Why? Oh, shit, what the bro. fuck? You're like, dope. Like, it's not like you're a dick. You uh, stop going. Yeah. I don't see a problem with that. Ladies hit on my boy here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not the elder bitches, man. Oh, no, we're, not elder we're bitches. leaving them back in 2019. You're right, we're in 2020. <laughs> We're in Bartlett with it now. <laughs> oh, ba Carpentersville. Carpentersville. Um, um, wait, no. No, Romeoville. Romeoville? I don't know what that is. Yeah, little village bitch. Yeah, little village bitch. <laughs> just hit up my boy here. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I don't know, man. Girls. Girls? Yeah, I mean, I have a girlfriend. She's, she's pretty cool. I've been with her for like four years. Damn. Yeah. I don't know how, but yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Yeah. What's your secret to keeping, like, long relationships? Um, honestly, just don't be a fucking cock about it, and I guess keep her happy, you know? Happy, uh, you know, it's not really happy wife, happy life, but I don't know, honestly. I just kind of be me, you feel me? You know, if she needs something, I'm like, okay, I have the money for it. Or if I don't have the money for it, I'm like, I don't, sorry. And she's cool with it. I guess you just gotta find, like, the right girl, to be honest. Someone who vibes with you. That's nice. Yeah. Definitely vibe with her. Yeah, bro. I'm just making girls, like, friends right now, bro. Yeah. Understandable, I mean. You gotta get into, you gotta start it somehow, you feel me? Mm hmm yeah, it's like not my intention either. Like, I have a girlfriend, like, when I meet them, I'm just like, will you be my girlfriend? No, no. <laughs> it's not how it works, bro. I'm, I'm chill vibe, bro. Total chill vibe mode. 
vibe mode. Can we can we get the okay? The vibe guy right here. Yep. The vibe guy. You want vibe? Or um, what's that other guy? The one who's always like a uh, those memes that are like mechanic, and it's that weird guy with the face. Where it says um, when you when you turn um, eight <laughs> quarts of oil in your engine and like something quarts of of coolant in your engine into a milkshake, and it's like mechanic. Oh, you mean that. Like stonks. Yeah, that guy. Right, I guess. Yeah, that guy. I guess we'll put that there, right there. Oh, there you go. Bye. I guess. Do you have any like fucking crazy stories about your boys? About my boys? Um. Okay, so this one time in woods class with Hector, I know he immediately started laughing as soon as he seen that because we were um chopping up some wood, and it was just me and him by the saw. And we were going fast as fuck at it because we were just trying to get it done and it was lunchtime. And he brings up the saw and we, he throws away the other piece of wood. And as he's bringing down the next saw and I'm throwing in the wood, I guess I fucked up and I lifted it and I smacked the saw and that shit just fucking boom exploded. It was awesome. It like exploded into pieces and I like closed my eyes and when I opened them, Hector was just gone. I don't know where the fuck he went, like instantly. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, he disappeared, and I just see him right here from behind me. He's like, what just happened? <laughs> it, was, it was terrifying. The whole saw just blew up, and then uh, the teacher came out, and he was all like, what just happened? And we were all like, well, I don't know. Uh, long story short, he just replaced the saw. He didn't really blame us or anything. It just kind of blew up. Wow. Did you even give a fuck about that class, or you just like... Well, honestly, I don't know. For like the whole four years, I just kind of showed up, and then after a while, Mr. Brown, he was just like, "You're doing pretty good. You're the leader now." And I was like, "I don't know what I'm doing." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think he did tell me something about that, bro. About the saw exploding? Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, he likes that story because it was funny. <laughs> like, I always forget to fucking tell the guests, like. Oh, it stops every 18 minutes, and then... And then 18 minutes go by, and... I'm so... I'm fucking, like, unprepared for every <laughs> fucking video I make, dude. Like, okay. it's insane, bro. That's what makes a podcast a podcast, though, right? Like, just the raw footage. <laughs> I mean, they have... People have questions. Oh, like, yeah. like other podcasts have questions and shit. I'm just like, well, I'm gonna talk, and... And here we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> The fucking shit posting awards. Oh yeah, that was pretty funny. Yeah, like I told Hector, come over, bro, and I fucking had a shitty piece of paper that said all the names and the winners and shit. And I'm like, okay, let's do this. He's like, what? Do we have like a script or anything? I'm like, um, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm like, let's just do this shit, man. He's like, all right. And you guys just went with it? Yeah. Oh, nice. So you never script out anything? Nope. Dope. I'm just kind of like lazy, but like, it's improv. Yeah, improv comedy. <laughs> yeah, like, we, we went the whole 30 minutes. Oh, really? Yeah. Just off the top of the head? Really? Yeah. Not a lot of people turn in their videos, right? For like their... Not everybody did. Like, That's bogus, man. Come on, man. Like, you guys don't want to accept your shitpost rewards? Yeah, and then when they did, it was like front-facing camera, I'm like... Well, it's not like sideways, like it's supposed to be in like a video, it's like fucking like, like a, a selfie kind of. I'm like, well, this will do. Right, here we go. Yeah. Congratulations, you guys. Hopefully people will vote this time. Like, yeah. fucking ass. Right. Why don't you get uh, Johnny Sins to vote? Or Johnny Sins to <laughs> oh, accept? Oh, my boy Johnny Sins! Yeah, man, Johnny Sins. How the fuck did you guys even get that? <laughs> that... <laughs> Wild. Wild. Literally 10 out of 10. I don't know how you guys did it, but... Subscribe. All I had to do was one call. That's it. One, one call. One call to the man himself? Yeah. And he was just like, alright, but... Yeah. Plugged. Bro, it was awesome, bro. When he sent me that shit, I'm like, holy shit, he actually... He this actually motherfucker did it. did it. He actually said, subscribe to I Ortiz. Yeah, and then people were like, this is fake. I'm like, nigga, that's... How do you fake that? That's Johnny Sins right there. Right. How do you even fake that? Like, do you have that type of video equipment? No. <laughs> As you see, I edit everything on my phone, bro. Right. On your phone, really? Yeah. And this camera? 
Yeah. Like, I have a Mac and shit. I'm like, uh, I get mad when I try to edit. I'm just like, I hate this. Yeah. I don't want to do this. I'd rather do it on my phone. It's easy. It's like more like... Yeah, I'm just like... Understand it. But that was pretty cool, though. That was pretty cool. And then Hector got that one porn star. I forgot her name. But that... She's, she's a little baddie, too. And she got it. Uh, I hit her to say, um... What was it? To subscribe to One Inch Punisher XC on Pornhub. Yeah, I didn't even know how he got that. Like... That just happened. I'm just like... You didn't even know? He didn't tell you anything? No, he didn't tell me. Yeah, that was kind of out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> like, when I got Johnny Sins, I'm like, oh, Hector, I'm going to get Johnny Sins. I'm going to make it my life goal to get Johnny Sins to shout me out. Yeah, and it worked. And, um, what's that kid's name? Lil Esco? Yeah, Lil Esco. He said, if you subscribe to the infamous I Were Tees, I'm going to fuck with you. You, he kind of half-assed that shit, too. He's like, the famous IRT. I'm yeah, like, dude. bro, you butchered my name. Yeah. You should have told me. You should have been like, yo, send me another one. That's not my name. But yeah, I, I fuck with them, though. Yeah. How did you get their numbers? And or is that a secret? I'll tell you. The podcast. <laughs> That's a secret. That's classified <laughs> information. Pretty cool, though. Pretty cool. 10 out of 10. Definitely got you some clout. Like yeah, subscribers. Not really. Like after Johnny Sins, I just got like maybe like four, five subscribers. Yeah. But it was awesome though. It, it was pretty like cool. Yeah. Almost a thousand views on Facebook for yeah. that. For that shit. Yeah. Nice. That's a lot of. That's a lot of views. You should have. Um, did he put it out too, or was it just they just sent it to you and you just put it out? He just sent it to me. Oh okay. Okay. That'd be pretty cool if you put it on his Twitter or something. He did share one of my posts though. Oh, word? Yeah, like the Johnny Sins one. The meme, right? Yeah. yeah that was Retweet. I got a question for you. Yeah. Um, who produced your track for the song? Bro, I'm gonna be honest with you, all of that was just me. I did it on my phone. Literally from an app that I found for free on the App Store. iPhone or Android? It's on both, actually. Called Red Fang. Red Fang. Yeah. It says to use microphones with like a headphone, and for that one, because I, I did two songs. The first one I just did it kind of like open, open mic, in my closet at like four in the morning, and then the second one, the Billy Eilish one, I did with an actual mic, like, like a whole, like a headset actually. It doesn't work like with like earphones, maybe. It works, but it just sounds kind of choppy. choppy. Yeah, choppy. But yeah, all me. Um, I, just, I was just asking people's opinion. I'm like, what do you think? They're like, oh, tweak it like this, kind of change it. And then I just got the final one. That one uses should use a little tweaking too. Dude, that's fucking dope. Dude, like, I thought it was like a producer that actually did that. I'm like, no. Nope. Oh, me. <laughs> Hit my line. Because, like, uh, me and Mason did make another song together. Oh, really? Yeah. Another, is it another one like um, Holy Sauce? Honestly, I don't think any song could top Holy Sauce. Anything else we make, dish out, like, Holy Sauce was like, the God song. Yeah, the very first origin God song. Yeah, it's like, we had other songs together, but it's like, Holy Sauce, like, that's the most memorable video or song. Yeah, it's like, it wasn't the first video, was it? Like, the first song? first song was like the Christmas one and then the um, song called We're Taken by Cute Guys That Have Girlfriends group that's our band. Cute Guys That Have Girlfriends? Is there a YouTube for that or? No. It's, it's just my YouTube. Okay. But um, yeah, it was an alright song, the We're Taken song, but holy sauce, that's... That one was the sauce. Definitely the sauce, no pun intended. <laughs> Or put it to the younger fuck. Bro, like, yeah. I feel like my new song will will bop pretty good too. Yeah. I had I shouted out Kiko and Hector in that song. I had to do it. Yeah, you had to do it for them. Mm -hmm. Nice. You think I can get a preview of it after the podcast, maybe? Um, maybe right like here? I have a crappy version of it. If you want to hear that, for them. All right, I'll, I'll show you. Bro. But like classic. 
my final lines were like the best lines I've ever had. I was like, I'm no barber, but I'll catch you with that fade, no clipper. Amazon Prime, I deliver. Oh, pussy so good, I'm a tipper. Oh, and I, that was like that. That was it. The fuego, damn, yeah, bro. Jesus. Yeah. I like the fire lines. Yeah, bro. I would have. Not when I have a girlfriend, like, in the video. Because, like, that's kind of, like, fucked up. If you have, like. If you say, pussy is so good, I'm a dipper. Maybe I'll have, like. Well, uh, let me tell you a story, bro. Story time? Yeah, story time with IRTs and Leo. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like. There's this like ongoing joke me and Hector have. Now, after that strip club shit. Yeah. Like, um He's like, bro, we we gotta go to the strip club. Like I always like was like, nah, maybe next time, maybe another time we'll go to a strip club. I'm not feeling it bro, I'm tired. And I'm just like, fuck it, let's go, let's go. Let's do it. I'm okay. missing out I'm already missed out on the midget strippers. Oh I didn't go. So I'm like, all right, let's do this. Let's, let, let's do this, baby. Uh, I got eighty dollars <laughs> at the fucking at the bank. Yeah, and um, we went, and uh, bro, I was like, you know, my respect for a woman was like high, you know. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Yeah. It always was, cause you know, my mom like she She's like taught me well, oh, okay. taught me well. Okay. <laughs> and um so I went inside and I already saw like a titty popped out I'm like what the fuck <laughs> oh 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 walked in and already see the titty fly yeah like this shit. bitch was walked out with her like titty out and I'm like oh shit fuck 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 <laughs> what titty. the fuck I'm scared I'm like da, 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 da. no I never seen this before I'm like like that was that like the first time you seen the titty no, no. Seen well I mean not like Besides, uh, like on porn. Yeah, like I said, I've oh. seen some. Like, uh, when I was a CNA and I was like cleaning the old oh, okay. titties. Yeah, you see old titties around? Yeah. That's a different story. You were a CNA? Mm -hmm. You're lying. Mm -hmm. Wow, really? I was like a CNA for like a week. Bro. Oh, man. <laughs> they, they, they fired me, bro. Why? I sucked. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I passed the state test and shit. And passed the exam. Studied like a year in high school. I did all that shit, and then I went as a CNA, and they I got fired at like two weeks, or one or two weeks, bro. They're like, "Well, you suck." And I'm like, oh. "Well, Taco Bell it is." You Taco know? Bell it is. Nice from CNA to Taco Bell. Yeah. <clears throat> but anyways, let's go back to the strip club. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, bro, it was pretty scary, bro. Seeing the titty, yeah, just like, whoa, walking titty. Yeah, bro, like, Hector's like, oh, bro, it's all good, it's all good. Calm down, bro. And I'm like, okay, okay. All right, we walk to the table, and, like, I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm scared. And then, like, some strippers come to sit next to us. I'm like, fuck, um, I don't want to talk to them, you know. I'm, I'm like, um, hey. Hey, I'm Ortiz. <laughs> yeah, for real, bro. That's what happened. It's like, what's your name? I'm like, I R T. <laughs> and she's like, what? I'm like, I R T. It's like, okay. Um, hey, Hector, you're very muscular and shit. So she kept on like asking if I wanted to lap dance. I'm like, well, not from you, but <laughs> I, from you. I didn't want to be like rude. I'd be like, ah, uh, not now. Yeah. And we were just like chilling there. I was like looking up in the stage, and like there was a bitch like with her titty out. Yeah, taking out her shit. I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> Do I look or not look? You know. Luckily, there was like wrestling on too, like on another TV. I'm like, oh, shit. Totally. Watch some wrestling real quick. Yeah, I was like, this is dope. I don't even have that channel. Oh my gosh, I was like in awe. But, um, yeah, like, Hector's like, yo, where does Ship Club, dog? You, you, you need to get a dance, bro. 
like you can't go to a strip club and not get a dance you know right yeah i mean you ride dog you ride like dude pick a girl and you do it i'm like well i really like that one that just like got off stage but i don't know where she is he's like oh word <laughs> i'll find her dude i'll find her and then um like maybe like 10 minutes or five minutes go by and she walks by and i'm like oh and then Hector's like, what? Was that her? I'm like, yeah. And then he's like, bro, I'm on it. <laughs> so, like, he told me the story, too. Like, he said that bitch was, like, hard to, like, get to. Because she went in the back. And after she was done with that, she went to, like, a backer room. An even backer room from the back? <laughs> yeah. So she was just, like, hiding or something. And then he's like, yo, you gotta come to this table. And she, she comes to the table, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the girl I wanted. Um, well, um, so Hector was talking to her, right? Yeah. I was just like sitting down, like, trying to be cool, like, hey, hey, I'm Mario Tease. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Mario So, um, he was talking to her and like pointing at me, he's like, and then she's like, okay. And, um, yeah, um, she's like, okay, let's go then. And then I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to have to pay for this, I guess, right? Yeah. Uh, $50 for, like, a, a nude one, right? And Hector's like, sit down, bro. And, um, he grabs his wallet, <laughs> pulls out some money, and the group we went with pulled out some money, too. And they got, like, $50, and then my hand was like this, and you're like, Ooh. all right, <laughs> go get him. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what the fuck? You paid for your, for your lap dance? Yeah, for my, the nude lap dance? My first one, bro. Nice. So I was walking with her, and she's like, well, my, your friends told me to ride you like a horse. <laughs> I'm like, oh, word? <laughs> you wor word, bro? <laughs> Thank you, Hector. One inch, punish punisher, one inch Punisher on... No, one inch Punisher XC on Pornhub. Anyways, I was like... These guys, plug. Hey, I love these guys. <laughs> Hector is definitely a, a part of the IRT's legacy now. Yeah, definitely has to be with the one inch Punisher XC. I'm pouring out. I'm pouring out. But yeah, and then we went back and started taking out the club. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> then I'm, I'm like, well, fuck. I guess I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna sit down. I'm gonna take the dance. I'm gonna take the dance. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. And then, like, I came back, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then Hector was like, he always tells me like, bro, you came back with the baddest smile ever, bro. I'm like, well, bro, it was awesome. <laughs> it was lit. Yeah, bro. And then, like, maybe like 30 minutes later. <clears throat> they were doing like a two for one special, two songs for a price of one, okay. and then they like, pick on pick your lady and everybody like went on stage and shit. And um, the same girl that gave me the lap dance, she came over to me and like, oh, hi, hello, it's like do you want to dance? I'm, I'm like, well, do I get a hat? <laughs> do I get a hat? Yeah, because they were saying like you get a hat too. I'm like, well, I heard that part. I'm like, well, do I get a hat? And she's like, what the fuck? Nobody really asks about the hats. And I'm like, I kind of want one. <laughs> I kind of want, want one. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, well, okay, after I'll get you one. I'm like, oh, oh what's going on, man? So I went back with her again, bro. Ah, <sighs> yeah. It was awesome. Did you get your hat? <laughs> yeah, I got my hat, bro. Really? Yeah. Was, oh, was it that blackjack's hat? Yeah. Really? I like that. It's good. Worth the booty. Yeah, bro. I wasn't even like getting hard. I was just like excited about the hat. I was like, oh. And I was thinking about the hat the whole time. She was just like grinding it on me. I'm like, shit, I'm gonna get that hat, bro. <laughs> this, is, this is lit, bro. You know? You're like, damn, that hat's gonna be real. Like, she kept on grinding on me. I'm like, this is kind of boring, man. Like, she kept on going like that. And I'm like, you know, where you like do the hip thing where you're yeah. like, okay, it's like. I was kind of bored. I'm just like, where's my hat? <laughs> where's my hat, bro? 
Where's my hat, man? I just want the hat. No cap. No cap. No cap. I just wanted the fucking hat, bro. Worth it. But yeah, bro. That's pretty cool. And I came back with another smile, bro. Like, she might be the one. <laughs> she might be hey. the one. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious, bro. I kept on, like, fucking, um, what's it called? Trolling them. Yeah, like, like, uh, the boys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was awesome. And then one of the guys was like, you know, she is pretty cute. I'm like, what the fuck you say? <laughs> what you oh. say about my girl? <laughs> I'm fucking rocking right now, bro. I ain't scared. She was like dancing on the pole. I didn't even know she was dancing because I was like watching wrestling and shit. I was like, oh shit, this match is dope. Right. And then the dude's like, she's, you know, she's kind of cute. I'm like, what? Who is? He's like, oh, your girl. I'm like, fuck. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> she's dancing? My girl? <laughs> she's dancing over here in the pole? And, and I'm like, hey, first of all, don't even look at her, bro. I'm like, what? I took out my jacket like... Like, what's up? What's hey, up? Hey, hey, bro. That's something for my girl, bro. You got something for me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, bro? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> you got something for me. <laughs> but yeah, bro. That was pretty fun, bro. Like, it was one of the greatest nights ever, bro. I was like, well, this is how it feels, and I'm definitely gonna return, you know? Worth it? Yeah, it was worth it, bro. Like, I was kind of down. I had a mental, like, breakdown the other week, and I'm good now. Like, oh, yeah. I, I kind of was, like, I was breaking down, like, the Kiko podcast. Like, I couldn't even, like, get some highlights from there, because I was just like, holy shit, man. This, this is really messing up with my head, bro. Like, holy fuck, this was, like, a real, real talk. Yeah. I'm like damn, like, and I get shaky and chill. Like, oh, okay, I need a break. I need a break from like doing videos. Um, but yeah, after that, you know, and then the strip club. I'm like, oh, okay, all right, all right, I'm down, bro. Right. I'm IRTs again. I'm, right. I'm gonna do all this shit. I already got the job. I'm going to the gym. I'm going to wrestling training. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the best goddamn wrestler alive. I'm gonna be the best. YouTuber alive, even though like I don't have that many subscribers, but I'm getting there. I mean, everyone starts somewhere. Yeah. You have a lot for like just starting off. How many are you at? You're at I I haven't been started off. Bro. I've I've started like 2015. <laughs> well, I mean that's still like pretty newish. It's four years. Well, will you continue? Yeah, I'm. I did most of my shit like 2016. Okay. Yeah, but production's getting better. Yeah. It wasn't that good back then, bro. Now you got more videos. You got Holy Sauce. You got this next song. It's probably definitely going to be a bop. <laughs> oh, it is. But I'm definitely probably going to go back, bro, because, like, I haven't been happy. <laughs> like that. Mm -hmm. I haven't been happy like that. Like, oh, oh I'm not going to say, like, why well, I haven't been happy a day in my life. No, I'm not right. going to say it like that. I'm depressed. <laughs> no. Oh, like, bro, that was hilarious, bro. Yeah. And, oh, another story at the strip club, dog. One of the boys, he was gone for like 30 minutes, bro. Like, I came back. No, like, um, yeah, we went kind of at the same time. Like, the second time I went, you know. Um, and then I came back. He wasn't at the table. Another, like, 30 minutes passed, bro. And he was gone. Me and Hector and the other guys were like, Fuck does this guy go? Like, where is he? He's just gone. He's gone, bro. He was like, 30 minutes past. I'm like, what the fuck? And then we finally see him, like, come back with the stripper. And, um, he told us that, uh, I think his mom called him, like, in the mid dance or something. And then he had to go to, like, work. And he was like, what the fuck? That's fucked up, bro. Mid dance? He, yeah. he was just like, fuck, now I have to go to work? <laughs> you gotta go to work, bro. This bitch dancing on me. <laughs> yeah, bro. That was fucking hilarious, bro. <laughs> That's terrible. So That's he, he was leaving, bro, and then he hugged the stripper goodbye. And I'm like, bro. <laughs> you're a god, bro. So I'll see you later, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done that with my girl. Should've got her number, bro. I think she was into me, bro. She, she, could have been the one. she did call me cute. Mm. But she could be paid to do that, though. <laughs> you know? Mm, well, yeah, bro. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm like, she said, well, you're cute. I'm like, well, you're probably getting paid to do that. So. Well, they get paid mostly in tips, though. Or is that all they get paid? All the strippers I don't know either. I feel like they just get all the money that gets thrown at them that's theirs. Yeah, I mean, this old guy was just dropping, like, bills and shit, bro. He was, like, in the front line. He just said that? He was, like, touching his fucking, um... <laughs> what's it called? The fucking... Oh, his heart monitor? <laughs> heart monitor, bro. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> They kept on twerking, like, they opened their legs, like, like a V-shape, and, like, twer twerking, like, right in front of him. He's like, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah. He's like, fuck my heart, Dude, my heart. I wasn't even looking at the stripper at that point, bro. I was, like, more concerned about the old guy and that was right there. I'm like, this guy is getting in there, bro. This guy falls. I'm going to have to come back and look. Yeah, bro, like, he went back with two strippers, bro. He took two strippers back with him? He got the fat, fat bets. Yeah, bro. Dude, that was awesome, man. That night was awesome. Mm -hmm. I gotta go there again, man. That that place was fun as hell, man. What was it? Was Blackjacks? Yeah. Oh, nice. You know, I've actually never been to a strip club. No. Mm -hmm. Hector? No. Oh, I hope you hear me, that, bro. <laughs> next, next time, bro. Oh man, we had the strip club with it. <laughs> Throwing hundreds. Yeah, maybe you can meet meet my bro. girl, bro. Yeah. And be like, yo, are you IRT's girl? <laughs> Dude, I forgot her name, bro. <laughs> Damn. I mean, they could be using fake names, too. Yeah, true. Could be using, like, Tiffany. Her name yeah. is Maria. <laughs> Maria. <laughs> Guadalupe Estrada. Guadalupe. Uh, yeah. And, um... That, that place was... It was, like, more fun than, like, hot, you know? Like... You just had a good time? Yeah. I wasn't just like amazed by all the girls. I'm like, oh. Ass. Ass, ass, ass. I'm just like, well, there's wrestling right there. And my girlfriend just like came and went on me. I'm like, oh. And she called me cute. And called me cute. <laughs> and the, ne yeah, plus. the next day, I was just like sharing like stupid shit about that day. Like, um. I'm in love with the stripper, the oh, music yeah, video. Song, yeah. yeah, like mood right now, Hector. It's embarrassing when you were tagging him. That was pretty funny. I was like, what? This guy really fell in love with the stripper? No. I'm not. with that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And then I tagged him in that one usher song. I don't find. If you dance on a pool, that'll make you a boy. Get, Get that money. Yeah. Yeah, I was actually listening to that. I'm like, Oh, word? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, word? Oh, word? Oh, word? This guy just just write a song of what's on my mind right now. This nigga spitting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This nigga spitting right now, bro. <laughs> Those music. Yeah, yeah bro. Uh, yeah. I consider a, a friend more than like a girlfriend. Yeah. I think. You know, like, I you, like should, you should go back and be like, yo, so when can I take you on a date? <laughs> <laughs> It was fun, bro. I had better talk than than like the lap dance. You actually talked with her? Yeah. Did you like talk about like her life and shit? Yeah, like yeah. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I said something weird though. Like I forgot what I said, but then she's like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> she like stop. Like, yeah, she stopped grinding me. She's like that, and she's like, "Wait, wait, what the fuck did you say?" <laughs> I forgot what I said though. I was like. I don't know, bro. But it was weird to her? Yeah. She's like, wait, what? what? <laughs> she just thought, wait a minute. I'm like, well, keep going. going. I'm, right. I'm trying to talk and like, you know, right. you're, you're paper. not grinding on me. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome, bro. Like, Hector did mention that you get a smell afterwards. Oh. And I'm What's like, what, what does that smell? What does that smell? And like, well, it's like, and like, it doesn't smell like sex. And like, well, kind of. Kind of. And I'm like, well, I never smelled that before, so I'm in for a ride. Here's for new smells. <laughs> so yeah, came back smelling like pussy and like, oh, so that's how it smells. So that's what it smells. Yeah. You have a pussy out there. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? My flashlight, bro? What are you talking about that? You have your flashlight? I wish, bro. Like, 
feel like that's all I can get. I mean, something. Yeah, flashlight's pretty cool. Like, I, I would buy one, but I don't want to go to the store and look like a creep. You know, I'm just yeah, like... Yeah, you buy one in the store. Spencer's. Oh yeah, Spencer's. Spencer, I don't want to go like... <laughs> I would like to purchase this. $20? <laughs> yeah. You know, it's kind of getting close where I'm like, well, Valentine's Valentine. day is coming. I have no girlfriend or a girl that's interested in me whatsoever, so. Or a girl's not interested in you. You're fucking I or T. <laughs> that's what I ask myself all the time, bro. It's like, no girls want the I or T's. I'm just intimidating, I guess. No. no it's not. I mean, I don't know why it would be intimidating by you. You're a dude. I'm kind of like the best yeah. guy you can be with. 10 out of 10 recommend. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little crazy. Cool. Crazy cool. Crazy cool crap. Crazy cool crap. We're <laughs> opening the crusty crap. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, I share a lot of, like, player posts, but I get called out by my cousins. They're like, you ain't talking to no bitch, what you mean, bro? I'm like, well, you don't have to let them know. Don't let them know that I'm not cool, please. <laughs> I'm cool. You are cool, you are cool. Yeah. I just don't get bitches. I don't know why. I never That's did. To me. I never did, bro. I don't know why. Holy sauce, should have gotten you all the bitches, for a fact. I or T's. Should just get bitches. Yeah, that's that's just how it should have been. But I, I like no bitches sometimes. Yeah. Like eh, you can have all the bitches, but it's like mm, why? Yeah. <laughs> why? Why? Why all the bitches? I did talk to Hector though, but like <clears throat> I was like <sighs> Hector, should I give up, bro? Should I give up? This romantic thing I do like to look for love. Do should I just give up on that all completely and be a player? Cause like, well, bro, no, don't do that. No, <laughs> it's like he said that I have a reputation and it's hard for me to get a girlfriend and that, like to look. Well, it's hard for me to look serious. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. Like, if you wanted to look look for somebody, it's like, well, that is true. I don't want a reputation for being a player, bro. Right. I can see why it would be a little bit hard to find someone, like, serious. Yeah. Because you got a lot going on, and, like, you need to find someone who's, like, serious enough to help you with what you got going on, you know? Yeah, and if you're, like, known for a player, it's like, oh, fuck. Well, I'm fucked. Yeah. I'm fucked like Hector, the player god, and then he's always like, no, I'm loyal. I mean, yeah, he's loyal, ladies. He is. He's loyal. What is Punisher X again? Point up. He's loyal. I'm point up. He's loyal. Hit him up. Yeah, I, I, I really felt that was what I needed to hear. And yeah, it, yeah, it was good. He's he's a really good guy, man. Like, oh yeah. To talk to. Pretty cool guy. No, no, no. Definitely helped me out with like my whole situation I was talking about earlier. Pretty cool. Very, very, very cool guy. Yeah, like. Yeah, and then I talked to Kiko too. Like after the podcast, we hung out with Hector and shit, and it was like, oh gosh, the three guys coming together, <laughs> the aura. Yeah. We went to fucking beat us, and bro, that shit was crazy too, bro. I told the waitress, do you know Johnny, Johnny Sims? He's like, no, I don't. Oh. And I'm like, are, are you sure, bro? He's like, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm serious, I don't know anything. Leave me alone, you know? <laughs> I'm like, oh, fuck. So she comes back, she's like, okay, you guys ready to order? I'm like, are you sure you do not know Johnny Sims, bro? <laughs> I kept on asking her, I'm like, you gotta know, bro. You gotta know, he shouted me out. Right, he shouted me out specifically, I or T. Yeah. And um, after we were done eating, um, my boys made her subscribe to the infamous IRTs on YouTube. Are you serious? Yeah. 
like, well, we're gonna give you a big tip if you if you subscribe. It's like, ah, oh, fine, just write it on the fucking receipt. I'm like, you better do that, bitch. <laughs> you better do it, bitch. Did you? Did I don't you think so. I don't no. think so, bro. What? I don't think that bitch deserves. We're going tip. back to that B dubs, and we'll get that. We're gonna find it, bro. We'll find it. But um, Kiko, it's a wild guy, man. He fucking um writes his Snapchat. <laughs> on the receipt? Oh man. <laughs> 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 fucking kinks. Always wanted the ladies. Yeah, that was awesome, bro. I think he she did add him though. Oh, but she didn't subscribe to the infamous IRTs on YouTube? I don't think so, bro, because I had two eighty five coming in and I had two eighty five coming out, so I was just like What does that one white guy say? This is for Rachel. You big, fat, white, nasty, smelling fat bitch. Why'd you take me off the motherfucking schedule with your trifling ass, dirty ass, racist ass, big, fat bitch, oompa loompa, body ass bitch? I'm coming up there and I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you. <laughs> <laughs> I like how his eye fucking twitch is like, you big, fat, smelling, <laughs> <laughs> ugly bitch, oompa loompa. <laughs> you use TikTok? No. No? They make a lot of TikToks about that for some yeah. reason. I don't know why. It's really funny. It's, it's good. It's, it's funny. I like when they make TikToks about that one song from um, Disney. Let Let It Shine. You ever see that movie? Let It Shine? Let It Shine. Um, you know that one black kid? Um, Everybody Hates Chris? Yeah. He's, he's in it. He's I've a rapper. Seen, I don't think I've seen that movie. Like, don't run away. Don't run away from the truth. Cause I ain't gave me the money. I think I have it's, it's more than like, more than like, like, more than love. Baby, I'll make you mine. Ooh. It, it, it's a stupid song. You know song. the song? Kind of, bro. Like, that song was. That movie was good, too. Okay. I've actually. I don't think I've seen that movie. No. It is. It is. Really? is it new? No, it was like years ago, bro. What? Yeah. Maybe I've seen it. Maybe I'm just forgetting it, but I don't think I've seen it. It's pretty good, bro. I like BTR too. Big Time Rush. Big Time Rush? Big Time Rush was the shit, bro. Bro, I thought they were better than One Direction at the point. At one point. Fuck One Direction. I was like, you bitches don't know shit, man. Big Time Rush is where it's at, man. Right. Talking about Big Time Rush ain't this, Big Time Rush ain't that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was serious about that shit. I'm like, bro, Big Time Rush is gonna make this shit big, man. Boyfriend. Have you ever had the feeling you're drawn to someone? And then I forgot it. Them and the Naked Brothers Band. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember the that. The Naked Brothers Band. That was, that was a pretty funny show. I remember that shit. They made a... Yeah, they kind of died out after they grew up, though. Yeah. That one dude was in Jumanji. He was in Jumanji? Yeah, the really? kid. The kid, little drummer kid? Yeah. yeah. He was in Jumanji, really? Mm -hmm. you know, I recognize him from his, like, dimple, or, like, mole. The little mole thing? Yeah, he yeah. was in Hereditary, Jumanji. I've seen him in Hereditary. Yeah. The one was good. So would you, like, be a rapper or a singer? Or both? I'd probably do both if I had the opportunity. You have any like singing songs? <clears throat> no, I don't have any like that I made though. No. But uh, I did for some reason in high school spend like two years in choir. I, don't know. I was just pretty good at it. Were you with my boy Tyree? I was. Uh, no, nah, I wasn't with Tyree Best, but um, that's my guy too. I've known him since um, freshman year. No, since middle school. Since like I think seventh grade. Known him for a while. But yeah, he was he was a goon in choir too. I seen him a couple times in choir. But that's my guy. He's part of the alumni IRTs squad. The legacy. Oh, he, yeah, he's like the first generation alumni, first class. First squad. class IRTs. Yeah, he was the first like generation. You guys talked a lot. Well, we did this one. It was like 2016 or. Around there, yeah. Um, 
We did make an unreleased song too. Yeah? Yeah. That's pretty cool. He's never told me about that. We, we did have an unreleased song. I have it. It's with me, him, and uh, Noah Moon. Ooh, Noah too? I yeah, but like... And then I just like went away from Noah because I was like, I'm not going to make this diss track about my ex. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, uh, and then that squad was like, eh, that wasn't my squad. It was just kind of like a thing. Yeah. Tell your best is cool though. Hit him up, ladies. I remember if we were filming for the music video and then you were there, right? It was at the skate park, no? No. It was at behind Jewel or something. Behind Jewel? Yeah. Was that there? Yeah, bro. It probably was there. I remember you were in a car. <clears throat> oh, yeah, and I passed by, right? And then I'm. Um, I had these glasses on, bro. I was like. Oh, what's up, dude? And then you're like, bro, your glasses are dumb. I will trade you my glasses for these glasses. And I'm like, no. <laughs> these are my, my famous glasses, bro. My famous Iron glasses. Yeah, I think I remember now. Yeah. You guys were filming for a music video then? Yeah. They guys were just chilling. Bro, like, we filmed like a bunch of times. We recorded the song a bunch of times. I was just like, I'm getting tired for this. I don't even want to do the diss track for my ex, honestly, like, it's been a year. I'm over it. <laughs> yeah, it's been a year of, like, literally recording it. I'm like, I'm getting tired of this, and I don't want a part of this anymore. <laughs> After a year, though. So I just, like, left the whole squad. I was like, I'm done with this squad. I don't like this. I had, I met my, I met a girlfriend, my girlfriend that fucking cheated on me. So I was like, well, I don't like that squad anymore. Yeah. Um, but I'm like, this is not gonna happen. This disc track's done. Finito. Ah. Over with. Case closed. But maybe I can show a preview of that song. Um, right here. Tyree and Me Made with Noah. I'll just cut out the Noah. Yeah, that's alright. Just the Tyree part. I, I forgive you though, Noah. Like, if you come up to me, dog, we're cool. We're cool. There's nothing, no bad blood between us. I can hold that shit against. Be cool. No hard feelings. No, no hard feelings. Blood. Yeah, it's been like a couple years since I've done that, so. It's been a while. It doesn't matter. Others opinions so no one's ever winning It's yeah. feeling like another day Monotony is giving way Let's take a back seat and kick it for a while It's hard living in style When your thoughts are running wild Being restricted to what you know I'm trash but don't bag on me I'm hard code 4,000 below No point in giving up So let's see how far the hole goes the Rabbit is a no-go You're half of what you show So you wouldn't court her So I ate her Put her up on either Feeling wicked Mostly feeling nothing Don't touch me It's hard to be When your finger's off the button Tyree's a fucking definitely a god, definitely a god. Not gonna lie, mm -hmm. oh shit. Gen, he's first generation of Iron like, Team. Yeah, like you home. see this logo here, like Iron oh, Team logo. Like this is like um like second generation logo. Oh really? The first one was it's a hat bag. This one? Mm -hmm. I thought it was like a. Actually, like, this might be, like, the third generation logo, but, like, that's, like, the logo that kind of, like, started it. Started the whole thing. It's Yeah. I like that. I like yeah. they actually got it embroidered in there. Yeah. Like, cool. I drew that shit off Snapchat, I guess. <laughs> really? Yeah. And, um, yeah. I got a shirt for him, Mario Ramirez. Also, first generation class alumni, IRT's legacy, and Yasmin. Um, I don't know her last name. It's like you're sticky. Yeah, some shit. You're sticky. Yeah. Together we were the sad squad. The sad squad. Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. The whole sad squad. Yeah. <coughs> Mario, IRT's, Tyree Best, and Yasmin. We used to burn cool. babies. What? Yeah. Word? Yes, we uh, <laughs> went to the thrift shop, bought a baby, two babies actually. <laughs> Those little dumb baby dolls? Yeah, and then we burned them. Like with the, like flamethrower? Like a torch? Yeah, fucking like put like that fiery liquid on it and like just lit it on fire. <laughs> cool. 
Suicide Squad game. After the second one, I'm just like, okay, this is a little demonic. I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm not comfortable anymore. All you need is goat's blood. Yeah. So that's part, that's the first generation. The Suicide Squad. Yeah, and then... I guess you can say my other group too, MIA, Mason, Ivan, and Andy, was like, that's another part. That's another, that's another. Another story for another time. Yeah, that's another group. That's a different channel. This is IRT's channel. Oh, okay, okay, I see what you mean. Is that like a whole different thing? And Casa? Casa. Ooh, the guy too? Damn, bro. You know, all the, all the cool guys. <coughs> hey, I, man. Andy Picasso is pretty cool. He disappeared, bro. He was my neighbor. He was like, he lives right here. Right really? Yeah. Where do you live? I think he lives with his girlfriend. Mm. Still a pretty cool guy. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He uh, owes me eighty dollars. He was eighty dollars. <laughs> In that Andy Picasso, $80. Andy Picasso, you haven't paid me, bro. What the hell? $80, bro. You owe the I Ortiz um, facility. But yeah, there's only one There's one group that owns the first generation logo shirt, and it is Tyree, Yasmin, and Mario. And then there's only one person other than me that has the Ringer Limited Edition I Ortiz third generation logo that is Mason Mason cool Mason is in like Chicago bro. yeah I miss Mason he's a cool guy but yeah like he truly deserves that shirt because it's like he's a part of the team not everybody can be a part of the IRT's team because it's like people be like yo well I, I'm subscribed Mm, I'm subscribed. I think I deserve a shirt. Mm, mm. So that's how it works, buddy. How are you entitled to my fame if you ain't get me? Help me get it, bro. Right. I don't see no sharing going on. Mm, I don't see that. Yeah, but like they'd be like, well, well I'm subscribed. I, I comment on your stuff. I've been a fan. I'm like, oh. I'm not wrong, right? I'm not a true fan. Still a fan, though. Yeah. Still a fan, though. Yeah. That's cool, though. I'm not gonna be like, oh, oh, haha, you deserve a shirt too. Right, here's a shirt. Yeah, the Ringer shirts are explicit, man. Limited, very limited. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, but like, that's when you know you're a part of the something movies. big, baby. The big movement. You're like Hector. I think, you might be one. I think Hector definitely needs one. Yeah, bro, because, like, you know. After the strip club fiasco? <laughs> hey, bro. Like, right when that happened, like, yo, I think this guy deserves a shirt, bro. Because, like, <laughs> first of all, he helped me grow my channel. He forced people to f fucking subscribe at Walmart with me. Yep. He did the chip posting awards with me. He definitely deserves it. Yeah. He is, like, literally, we're both memes and, like, different platforms. Yeah. He's on the Pornhub meme and you are the YouTube meme. Yeah. And we make each other's memes too. Mm -hmm. Like, you know the videos I make of Hector? Oh yeah. Like the funny ones? Yeah. One Inch Punisher XC on Pornhub. Go subscribe. I Ortiz on YouTube. The infamous I Ortiz. What is it on Pornhub? Jariah. Oh, and Jariah Toad Sage. Jariah Toad Sage on Pornhub. Go subscribe. No, no. Holy Sauce is on there. You already know. Holy Sauce. Holy Sauce. I remember. Um, what else? I do strip in one of the videos. Really? Yeah. There you go, ladies. You want to see my man strip down? I was like 17 by that time. Oh, that's illegal. But still go watch it. I think I was. Or 18. 18. He was 18. My girlfriend at the time, she's like, what the fuck? Really? She was like, she's like, Fuck. well, okay, you're cool though. <laughs> you're cool. I'm like, I bet. I am cool. I am cool. Your battery looks low, dog. No, oh, no, bro. Never mind. No, bro. Don't even worry. Don't even trip, bro. Don't like, trip. like it's only like, okay, fuck, fuck, fuck. When it's like red. Oh, okay. When it's red, that's when it's like time to end sh the show. It's mm -hmm. like. 
I take out my shirt and then <laughs> take everything off. You feel me? You know what? This is episode 69, right? Oh, Six, yeah, 69. 69. Yeah. I requested 60. This is episode 69. Yeah, like I couldn't have it till all the way to a real number. 69 is like, bro, like, mm, yeah, I man. need it now. We need it now. Dutch's episode was next, but he had, you know, he couldn't do it. He couldn't, like, his schedule was like a little, a little f- fucked up, I guess. Yeah. Sure. Next week, though. Schedule's a little fucked up, so. Um, I was like, well, fuck. Leo, you're next. Gang. That's good. Because, like, it would be weird if it's like 10, 11, 6, 9, um, 12, 13. It's what? better if it's like 10, 6, 9. 11, 12. Yeah. What? Yeah, Dutch is 11, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Makes more sense. Yeah, so he's like, well, fuck. Oh, 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 dude, 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 dude. He sent me something, bro. He sent me something. Dutch? Yeah. Is it funny? Well, I don't know if you'll find it funny. <laughs> but can you can you um tell us about this picture, bro? What picture is it, bro? <laughs> oh, oh, bro. Oh, okay. I was uh It's me, little emo kid back in like 2012 I think 2013 I don't know bro but that's a little emo me I was um, I was growing a beard but that was after I had just shaven and I was like damn I'm emo and I'm kind of cute I'm gonna take a selfie <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> so you took that selfie yeah and uh, that was my profile picture for that year bro I was like who the fuck is this guy that that em- uh, Dutch like sent me they go that's Leo I'm like what the <laughs> fuck yeah that's me Leo emo me now I got a whole fucking beard that doesn't even look like you got it not no. at all bro I, I used to have longer hair I had it down to like my back in middle school yeah that was when I had it stupid long probably the longest you were into like Bring Me the Horizon stuff? Nah, not completely. Pierce I was the Veil? Probably. <laughs> oh yeah, Pierce the Veil. Damn. Yeah, actually, damn. Yeah, they have like a bunch of albums right there in my wall. Wait. We're gonna have to turn on two cameras right now. Do you have a second camera? Yeah. Maybe mm-hmm. okay. So this is gonna be in the background, bro. Those are all my fucking albums and notes from my band, James Super Cave. Ooh. 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 My signed James Super Cave album. Ooh. Originals. <laughs> and that's gonna be in the background, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeet! There we go. A lot of albums. I like all the paintings you have on your wall, too. They're homeland, baby. You did those too? Yeah. Except that one. <laughs> the live one. That was Mason. Mason. Oh, art. Yeah. You know, Kiko, Hector, and Mason, and I, Ortiz, are gonna go to a concert to celebrate Mason's birthday. And that concert is from my boys, James Super Caper. Ooh, really? Yeah. Nice. And I did mention like almost every podcast that I know them personally. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Damn, so how'd you, did you just buy the tickets or were they just like... Nah, I had to buy them. I understand. Yeah. Support the cause. Yeah. The fuck him, man. Hold up, bro. It's like recording. Yeah, like every time I fucking enter my room, I just fucking kick it. Like, blah. Star. Yeah, like my door is broken. Like, <laughs> um, you can't like twist it and open it. I need a fucking hanger to like fucking <laughs> to open it. Is that why the hanger's hanging right there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a very violent. Why from kicking it? We used to fucking like hit the door with the fucking wall. 
and there's a hole behind that mirror right there. Oh, okay, that's what the mirror is. So the fucking like doorknob doesn't work. I was very violent as a child. Yeah, the yeah. door. Sometimes as a man. Oh. But that that part of me is gone. I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> that's only if I get mad, bro. I'm I'm chill, bro. I'm vibe. I'm fucking vibing. Stonks. Stonks. <laughs> you got the mic. Hmm? You forgot your mic. Oh, fuck. How are people going to hear my podcast? Right, okay. the mic drop. There uh, we go. Mic, yeah, mic drop. The real talk mic drop. Real talk podcast. mic drop. That's what I was missing. Do you want to spit a promo, bro? A promo? For what? For my, uh, for my song? Or what do you mean for me? Um, shit, I'm sorry. This is re- wrestling lingo, like a, sorry. Promo is like a, you know the gym vlogs? Yeah. That's like a promo. Oh, okay. I'm down. What do you want to talk about? Um, what do I want to talk about? The fucking gym, baby! We're going to the gym today. Right, like, you already know, today is... Gym day, baby. That's how it be. You already know we're going to the gym every single damn day. From the time it opens to the time it closes, it is a 24 hour, 7 days a week gym. You know I'll be there every effing day. You know, this is, a, this is actually a hologram of me. I'm actually at the gym right now, lifting weights each and every day, baby. Oh. <laughs> That's how it be. I like spinning promos. Yeah. I think it makes me happier. It's pretty fun. Yeah, like, I spit promos about love and, and the gym and, and, um, other shit. Like, if you give me a topic, I can, like, fucking do a promo. Do a promo about a buffet. Or, like, what the fuck? <laughs> about food or something. Buffet? Food? Yeah. I don't know. Like, like topics like fucking like religion. Oh, one of those? Okay. Like a broad topic? Yeah, like a fucking like something I can talk about. Art. Art. You know what? I'm tired of people thinking their art is art. You know what's art? This is art. I swear to God, if you put something fucking weird there, I'm gonna fucking beat your ass off. But anyways, that's art right there. Other people think their shitty shit is fucking art. It's not. It's not. What the fuck is... What, what, what was that? Dude, these guys are gonna fucking put something weird. <laughs> Never mind. Definitely gonna put something weird. <laughs> art. What the fuck is that, bro? Yup, the editor's gonna have a field day with that one, bro. Definitely have a field day with that one. Art. So, what do you think about the Real Talk Mic Drop podcast, man? I think they're pretty cool. They're pretty funny. Not gonna lie, yesterday I was watching a bunch of them. I was watching the Zach Angus one. Oh, wow. That's my boy. I watched a little bit of the Kiko one. He did get a little bit serious with, with his daughter. They're pretty cool, you know? We get to... You get to know more about a person. Yeah, I'm trying to like do like shit where I can put the like the highlights because I understand like it's pretty long the, the fucking podcast and I just had to like cut down some parts, some parts like people have to see. Like when Zach Angus got like real at the point where like, well, this sh- anger from other people gets to me sometimes. That guy hasn't been having a good year, I would say. You know, all this stuff's happening to him, but like. I do wish him well. Most definitely, yeah. He's been having... If it's just started too, the year just started, he's already having a terrible yeah, year. It's not good, man. I'm just like, fuck, man. Like, when he's like... When he got out of the car crash, all these people, like, were sad. And, like, you know, 200 people. And when he's, like, having a good time, it's like... It's one, five one, likes. Yeah, five likes, and one person's like, "That nah, that ain't good, man." I always support Zach. Zach deserves all the support. He's doing a good job. He's 
making his way. I mean, yeah, he's doing a good job. He just got. He told me he just got a raise at his job. Very See, happy for that him. That could be a training point. He's gonna get his car soon too. Very nice for Zach. I just pray he gets a girl, bro, that appreciates him, bro. Yes. Cause like, there ain't that many out there no. that will appreciate you. And no one wants to appreciate the Zach Angus. No girl just wants the Zach. Zach is a guy. Certified. Yeah, I feel like he's a good guy. Like, yeah. Deserves a girl too. Everyone deserves a girl. IRT deserves a girl. Where the ladies at, man? Nah, man, there ain't nobody like that can like match my shit. And the way that can match the IRT. Nobody, bro, like. Especially in Elgin, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck Elgin. I'm tired of this place, bro. I'm tired of this place. I hate it here. <laughs> Once I'm a wrestler, bro. Bro, so that that whole wrestling thing, so are you going to be on, on like TV now? Like, Are you going to go to the, the shows now? Or what, what's going on? Because you were a whole banana, and they were all like, yo, look, it's a banana <laughs> on wrestling. Yeah. Um... So that was just like a one-time thing where I'm picked from the audience because, you know, I'm wearing a banana costume and I entered the ring with the fucking owners of the wrestling show. That was awesome. Was but um, right after that, I'm like, well, I'm going to train. I'm going to train to be a wrestler now. It always was a dream of mine since I was a kid. And I'm going to do that, bro. Right. And, uh, once I do a couple months of training, I will have my merchandise. Yeah. IOTs merchandise. All IOTs. The shit that people have been asking me about will be out. Is there a date? I don't know. There's no date. Then you can reorder. It's going to be in the shop called ProWrestlingTees.com. Oh, really? It's a famous sh um, shop in Chicago. ProWrestlingTees.com. That's where all the wrestlers go for um, merchandise, like famous ones like Stone Cold, um, Cody Rhodes, Joey Ryan, the guy that flips people with his dick. It's with his dick? That's a wrestler that flips people with his dick. How? Oh, I've never seen that. Oh, that's a preview right there. Right here? I don't know if that. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Uh, 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 all right. There we go. Yeah, like he makes wrestlers grab his dick and... The rest are like, ah. Oh, and then they're just like. And he's like, this, like, ah. And he's like, ah. Ah. And then he goes like, he turns them around with his dick. Yeah, I think I've seen those videos before. And they're like, oh. And he's just like, ah. Yes, yes. Yeah, I've seen those. I didn't know that was real. Wrestling is real. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not real. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, yeah, it's totally real. I mean, I'm trained. And I've been bleeding sometimes. Yeah? Really? Yeah. Like, yeah. So, so, like, where do you go? All the way to Woodstock. Damn. That's far. Where? It's just really fucking far, dude. It's like 40 minutes away. I'm actually going today. Really? Yeah. You gonna go work out or just like, what, what do they train you in? On um, the ring. So, just, they just throw you around, basically? Not exactly. You have to do all these like, you know, turns and like drops and um, learn how to like push that guy over and then like leapfrog over him. Okay. You're gonna be a wrestler, bro. I'm gonna be a wrestler, bro. You're gonna be a famous wrestler. So you yeah. Wrestler, YouTuber, football playing king in space, that's what I'm like. Football playing king in space. <laughs> You need the crown, you need the astronaut helmet, and the cowboy hat. I'm already famous around like wrestling events. Like, I, every wrestling event I go to, I wear a banana costume. And they're all like, this banana guy. It's the guy that went on stage. That, That's pretty cool. Like, right before I took a picture with Kurt Angle, a dude comes up to me, he's like, dude, you're the fucking banana. No I'm way. I'm like, yeah, I am. He's like, bro, can I have a picture with you? I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. And then Kurt Angle was like, what the, right. This guy taking a picture of him. Not asking for my picture. Yeah. Taking Kurt Angle's fame. Yeah, bro. Boom. And, and I, I, I went up to Kurt Angle. Got a picture with him, bro. Yeah. 
did he like did he feel like like you were taking his fame? Oh, I think so. Like, this dude. A couple people went up to me though. They're like, "You're the banana from AEW." I'm like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I am." That's me. I Ortiz is I. <clears throat> it is I. Ortiz. <laughs> I can do that. I can say that. It is I. Oh. Fuck. Battery. Wait, 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 wait. The battery is gonna die, bro. That is all the time we have. If you have anything you have to say, hit the music. Um, basically, uh, I want to thank my boy Iortiz here. Um, you know, for being such a cool guy. For <laughs> for um, you know, bringing me on the show, and um, you know. Being the fucking best I Ortiz ever. Thank you, Leo. Very cool. And if can you do the favors and drop the mic right there? <laughs> Baby, thank you for watching. Fuck you if you aren't subscribed. Make your girlfriend subscribe. Make your boyfriend subscribe. Yeah. Make everyone you know subscribe. <laughs> Make everybody subscribe. Yeah, I'll thank you for watching. Wait, this is episode 69. Oh, true. So, let me take off my... I gotta take off everything. Fuck it, you know what? Whoa! Spaghetti. 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 Spaghetti.